Welcome to another episode of Real Talk. Your host, Margo. Today we will be discussing cancer. To most people, cancer is a sign of fear. When you become diagnosed as cancer, everyone feels that their life has fallen all apart. Today we have three special women to me that they are survivor of cancer free. And we have our first, could you state your name? Paula Randix, how are you doing? Teresa Radosevich. Robbie Randolph. We will be talking about cancer with the women today. Um, Miss Paula, can you explain to me about what brought you for getting the cancer? What caused the, the cancer? What caused the cancer? Uh -huh. um, it was ovarian cancer and um, um, That's okay. Um, I'm not sure about what caused it, uh -huh. but um, it was the fourth stages of ovarian cancer okay. that I had. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what about you, Miss Teresa? Um, well, mine was breast cancer, mm -hmm. and I had stage four, um, and it was detected in the duct area of the breast. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't know that I had cancer. I had just gone for a regular mammogram check and they found a spot and oh. it turned out to be um, cancer. Okay, Miss Robbie. I didn't Ms. know <laughs> I had cancer either, but I had two big old knots up under my arm and they used to hurt me so bad. The first time I went they said I didn't have breast cancer. The second time I went, they found out, and I was in the third stage of cancer. Mm, okay. Okay, did any of you have surgery? Yes, yes. I had yes. surgery. Mm -hmm. Okay, Teresa? Um, mine was a double surgery. Mm. Um, I had the breast removed, which is a mastectomy, and then I also had a tram flap done where they took muscle and tissue from my stomach and reconstructed the breast. Mm. And I had several complications from that afterwards. Okay. And mine, it was breast cancer and now it didn't move into my stomach and I didn't have five surgeries already three in my breast, and two up under my arm in my lymph nodes. Okay. And mine was, uh, I had surgery, they shrunk the, shrunk the cancer, and then they did the, um, they did the surgery, and it was a success, a success. Mm, okay. So, could you explain to me how did, once you, you guys found out, explain to your family, how did it affect you and the family, a loved one in the family? <clears throat> well, for me, my family was all out of state. And I was here in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And my family were my friends that I worked with. Okay. And they were complete support. They were like my family. And they took care of me, they fed me, they cleaned my home. They did everything that I needed done. And I am so grateful and that I had such a good support system because that's what is needed. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. and Ms. Paula? Okay. <laughs> when my mom took me to the doctor, okay? okay. And um, so um, that night um, they found out that I was in fourth stages of cancer. Then my my dad came to the hospital, but my, my family, my uh, mom and dad, my sister, my brothers, my husband at the time, I lost him. And, um, but 
They were all there for me. Friends and neighbors came by. People at church came by. So I had a great support system. Oh, that's beautiful. Miss Robbie. And with me, the doctor asked me, are you ready to go on for the procedures or do you want to wait? I said, I think I'm ready to go for what I can, you know? So I went home and got all my my family together and I told them what stage cancer I was in and we all talked about it and they was a good support team for me, you know? Well, that's beautiful. Yes. You know, most cancer, uh, they say that it lies in just women, but that's not true. No. Men has cancer too. Yes. yes. They have like breast cancer. Uh, most of it is like, um, Process cancer, mm -hmm. yes. Um, colon and lung cancers as well. Breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Even babies got cancer. Some babies have cancer. There's also bone cancer. I have a lot of relatives that have died from bone cancer. From yes. bone cancer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have a sister that's got bone cancer now that mm -hmm. she's fighting. Don't forget brain cancer. Brain cancer. Yes. Yes. This is a touchy subject. Yes, yes. It's very, um, also, I have a family member that had cancer as well, mm -hmm. and we will support to her as well. And it's very, when you hear the word cancer, that it's, it's something that's scary. Sounding, it's, it's scary. Yeah. And what would y'all say that keeps you guys going, going in life? What keeps you that driven, that drive of living? What keeps me going? Faith. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And I see Amen. other people with it. Mm -hmm. And I say, well, I'm not alone with it, you mm -hmm. know? And I have to stay strong. And for me to continue to live, I have to just keep walking by faith, That's you right. know? That's right. And that's, I do it every day, walk by faith. But I have my good days and my bad days, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I get scared and say, mm -hmm. why me? Mm -hmm. And then I look back, I said, I can't question God, why me? Oh. Because he have damn what everyone gonna have one day out mm -hmm. of life, you know? Mm -hmm. So I just, I'm walking by faith now. And I'm doing real good. Yes. I That's feel beautiful. good. That's beautiful. That's true. Good. beautiful. That's true. And I think I, I have to agree with, with um, Bobby, right? Yes. And I, I, faith is a really good thing to have, and I understand that. But you still question it as to why, you know, because I went through traumatic, traumatic and serious and so many complications from the surgery that I had from the stomach. And mm -hmm. I still, you know, have problems. Mm -hmm. um, but what I do is I make sure that I have a good diet <coughs> and mm -hmm. I sleep well. I have my sleep that I need because it was told to me that um, cancer can react mm -hmm. to your body not yes. getting enough rest, mm -hmm. not getting enough, you know, eating the right foods. Um, so I, that's what I try to do. Right. And I work so. That keeps me busy right you have there. Your friends, yes. Yeah, you know, your friends. And, and I still family. have very good friends. Yeah. Well, that's They've beautiful. They've always been my family. So, it's it's tough when your family's not around. But if you have good supportive good system right. and you have good friends, anything else you can overcome. Yes. That's, that's and right. the most thing out of it all, you cannot and stress hit everyone. But long as you try to keep that stress down out of your life, you could live longer. I've been stuck going on, That's you know. True. That's true. Because every time I feel myself getting stressed, I could feel the cancer in my stomach just seem like it's just tightening up and it's just hurting, you know. So stress, you need to try to keep that down as much as possible. That is a big, 
big factory. Yes. That is the key word, keeping yes. down your stress level. Yes. But in this in this day and age, it's hard to do that. It is. Because, you know, we're stressed about everything, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, with, with our lives. Mm -hmm. And if you have a stressful job, that sometimes plays a big mm -hmm. part, you know, in the way your body's feeling. Mm -hmm. And I know I can feel it when I've had a stressful day. Mm -hmm. uh, because my situation was when they took the muscle and the tissue from the stomach, to rebuild the, the, the breast. Mm -hmm. The breast was fine, but my complications were the, were the stomach, and it went on for a year after my surgery. Mm -hmm. And the doctor told me many years ago that the stre stress level that other people feel, and it all hits in, either in their back, their head, their legs, whatever. Mine goes straight to the stomach because mm -hmm. of that situation that I went under, mm -hmm. and, um, and I feel it. When I've had a bad day at work, I can, it just goes right to my stomach. Yeah. And that's the thing that, you know, I have to be thankful that I'm still alive, even though I still suffer. I'm still here. That you're yes. here. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, mine is the faith, like my two beautiful sisters have, have said, you know, God is wonderful and He's good. And reading my Bible, and just praying, I pray a lot. I pray more now than I have ever prayed in my life. And uh, and it's good, and I stay happy, you know, I stay mm -hmm. happy because then I think about good things for everybody all the time. Um, all things are good, you know, and uh, this is what keeps me going every day is prayer and loving the Lord and believing in Him, knowing that I can do all things through Him that strengthens me. Yes. Yes. Hey. You know, the color pink, me and uh, Miss Robbie was talking about the color pink. Can anybody share with me why the color pink um, that with the cancer that everybody wear pink? Is it? Well, I think it's a girly color. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. you know, I'm, I mean, it's a vibrant color. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's soft. And it's, you know, it's... It's a female color, even though men get, but you don't hear of it as much mm -hmm. as, as, you know, with with the breast cancer and anything else. I think that's probably why they kind of attach that color because it's 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 a girly color. Color, okay, yes. yeah. okay. Yeah. And pink is pretty, and it makes you feel good. good. <laughs> <laughs> I love pink. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Yes. And how do you feel about it? I feel, Look, I feel it good it. about it. It feels it's soft and it's warm and and it, it makes you smile. You know? yeah. It does yes. make you smile when you bring pink into a room. It just makes everybody happy. You know? yes. so, yeah. Well, there were some beautiful questions yes. because I have always asked, wonder, Wonder and I have asked and people are like I don't know so I just wanted just to throw that at y'all and white pink yeah. and y'all see some beautiful because it is a bright color it's a girly color but yet it makes you feel good yeah. it makes you smile yes. Yes. <laughs>